Happy New Year, everybody. It's uh, January oh, January the 4th, and we're heading back to the shelter for our first uh, first overnight of the year. We're going to try some hammocking and uh, see what else we can get into. Uh, we've got some different uh, camp crafts that we're going to try and different skills I want to practice. So come along and uh, let's hit the shelter. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Green Iron. Hey guys, well we made it back to the shelter. This is our first uh, first visit back in the uh, in the new year, and uh, looks like it stood up to the winter so far pretty pretty well. Got a little bit of snow load here at the back. We're going to try to push that off. That's always uh, an issue when you have uh, uh, you know a tarp on here, but uh, we'll try to get that off. Perfect. We had a few more beams in there. Uh, that'll probably keep some of that some of that weight off there. Want to make sure we uh, we put this cross member up, and we left one of the little knobs from a little branch on there, and uh, you can see where it wore through a hole in the tarp. Uh, so that's not uh, not ideal. <coughs> Bit of a must have been rushing at that time, and obviously missed missed one of those. But now that that's off, we'll have to patch that, or we'll certainly keep an eye on it. into our string here. Move it all over the place. Clear that out after. sit pad and reflectics pad here as well so I can get in and have a seat. I just leave that here all year. So one of the biggest things we have to do right now is uh, kind of get some firewood. If we're going to have a fire, uh, obviously not only now but tonight we got to get that ready. Um, quickly running into daylight it's already two o'clock and it's going to be dark by four so we'll get some firewood and uh, see what happens next all right so just before we go out and uh, find some firewood obviously uh, brought my <coughs> kukri back uh, that was my kind of homemade kukri 
and uh, that uh, serves well for, uh, for limbing. Also, we brought our Silky Big Boy 2000. Uh, that's a great saw for processing uh, most any size wood. Uh, so far, I've been very, very happy with it. And today, the newest one, this one was gifted to me. This was, this is a nine ounce pack saw from uh, Trailblazer, I believe. And it's called the Sol <coughs> Survivor. Very simple to, to uh, put together. And uh, again, the best part about it, it's nine ounces. So it's virtually weightless. It's kind of a airplane aluminum construction and uh, really, really nice, packs down quite nicely. And that's a, uh, I'll put the link down below, a trailblazer saw, Swedish steel. And we're gonna use that to process up uh, some of our firewood for, uh, for tonight. So no time like the present, we're gonna need some firewood, so. We gotta go find some wood, and uh, we'll get started. all dried ash very hard and uh, good burn time very clean burning uh, also very hot burning so it'll last longer than some of the uh, the pine and, and cedar that type of thing being hard sometimes when your <coughs> beds frozen like this you have to raise make a upside down fire. So you put some of the larger pieces on the bottom, the smaller smaller materials on top, and as they burn burn down and through, they uh, they may melt the fire and sorry, melt the fire, <laughs> melt the melt the ice and uh, your fire will take off. We're going to try one of our homemade fire pucks that we uh, made. I'll provide the link up top for that. Also try one of our survival tinder packets. This is a straw, and uh, inside is Vaseline-soaked Q-tips.
Oh, it's nice to get that first fire lit. <clears throat> we uh, we tried using the uh, homemade fire starter. I'll provide the link, like I said uh, before, but uh, yeah, it's uh, just full of wax and pencil shavings from a pencil sharpener, and it works really well. And it's like burning super hot in there, and that'll control the uh, that'll be the heart of the fire until everything dries out and and. Uh, gets really takes off. What I like to do is stack some some uh, some of the more frozen pieces of wood across the back and as the uh, the fire gets going those are drying out and then we can just roll those forward. We're gonna get a little uh, little soup on here. This is my dehydrated soup mix. Ooh, spicy. And then we add about a cup of water. Just like that, the locking lid. And now we're going to swing it around and Put it over here on our, uh, our gantry hook, suspended over the fire. <clears throat> Lower this swing arm down a little bit. So no sooner did I get my uh, my soup prepared than I realized I didn't have a uh, didn't have a spoon. So uh, I'm gonna try to make one quickly and uh, this this branch is about three quarters of an inch wide. It's gonna be just a little little ladle type spoon. if it's going to work the way I'd want it to, but now the trick is to get some of this inside out. So we kind of carve down a little bit on one side and try to do the same on the other. This is a this would have been a perfect opportunity to use my gouge. So I should have used a wider stick. More of a shovel, I guess.
that's the pith coming out of the inside. Maybe I'll just turn it into a almost like fork. And what are you, another thing you can do when you're when you're cutting instead of just always push 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 is use your thumb and it as leverage and use your thumb to push or use it as a lever or uh, I guess a fulcrum to Doesn't allow you to get a much of a spoonful. Should have been wider, but didn't work. All right, welcome to the camp. It's not finished yet, but. Uh, work in progress. So what I think I'm going to do is hang my hammock from one side to the other underneath the tarp and hammock it inside the shelter. Okay, well we had to abandon the hammock idea at least in inside the shelter it's just too long so what I've opted to do is string a uh, line right across the top and I have this this large king size mattress sheet and we're gonna try to rig it up to be kind of a bit of a semi uh, super shelter with uh, and then we'll just sleep right on the uh, on the bed of the uh, the shelter as it was intended. So we're going to string this across here and uh, we're going to see if we can uh, break something up for a modified super shelter. Take the corner and we're going to come down below this, this fold. I think that'll be a, a strong spot.
Okay, let me explain what I've done. I have uh, created a ridge line. This is the open end of the uh, king size mattress bag. Little hole punched in the end and uh, tied that to the tree. Inside, inside I have created a, uh, a space. Okay, so it creates a triangular type space. Lots of material can be bunched here at the head and curled up and uh, tucked under tucked under me and uh, I'm gonna tuck my uh, bag in there and batten down the hatches and see see if it did, uh, how well it uh, how well it works here's a quick look at the inside lots of room and uh, here's a pillow and then the tarp when I'm in there will all gather up behind my head and because there's a wall behind my head I'll, uh, there's lots of ventilation is needed Here we go. Modified super shelter. We'll see if it works. And lastly, topped it off with my Soul Emergency Bivy. And that should be that should be more than plenty so I don't have to feed the fire all night long. There you go. A little late night snack. It's only six o'clock. But it's pitch black out, so a couple of noodles. Actually, found my old tongs from <laughs> my last last outing here, so it's cleaned up the end, re kind of debarked the end again, and good to go. Well, it's <clears throat> six o'clock, and I just uh, everything's ready, uh, ready to shut her down whenever I decide to get away from the fire. And uh, as with so many bushcrafters, after a hard day, I'm gonna have a little little drink. Great Lakes Brewing, Toronto, Ontario, just up the road. Canuck Pale Ale, <laughs> perfect. That speaks to me big time. So, it's interesting, uh, after you try to shoot a film, certainly in the evening, uh, how much, uh, how difficult the lighting is. Oh, that's great, super light. Anyways, it's uh, it's been a day. Um, I only started started out about 1:30 today, and uh, it's about zero degrees. A little bit of snow coming down. I had intentions of starting uh, putting up a hammock inside the shelter here, but it was just uh, too small. Even kitty corner, I couldn't get it. Uh, the hammock sitting up high enough to uh, to not bottom out inside. So, uh, plan B, I brought along a uh, this plastic sheet. And uh, you saw me rig it up. Um, the only hole I put in it was uh, basically one little hole to run the ridge line through uh, the open end of the. Uh, it's a king mattress uh, protective cover. You get them when you get a new mattress. And um, we had two new uh, a sofa couch, sofa bed. Um, I guess just a couch delivered today from. Uh, local furniture company. I asked them if they had any extra sheets and they had and I think it's going to work great. So I haven't seen too many people try it on uh, on any channel so I thought I'd give it a try tonight and uh, I was going to cut it open just use it as a fly for my uh, my hammock but uh, obviously that didn't work. But uh, you know it creates a big triangular space inside and uh, it's probably about four feet high in the, at the peak and uh, uh, it's gonna be nice. Uh, I'm not being. I'm not afraid of being cold at all. I've got the uh, the soil bivy, emergency bivy, and I've got my uh, trestle zero degree. Well, it's a minus ten degree, uh, ten twenty. I don't know. Tucked inside. Um, we got a 
couple extra warm blankets, a thin sleep blanket if I need it. Um, what else do I got? Yeah, I've got lots of, you know, came prepared for the, uh, for whatever the night was going to throw at me. So, pretty good. I'm just going to charge up my phone. I just had uh, uh, some noodles and uh, I've got some water for uh, oatmeal and uh, coffee in the morning. Not sure if I'm going to be filming any more tonight. We'll see. We might just save the battery, battery for tomorrow. But uh, I've got to get out of, out of here early in the morning. But the best thing is I don't have to tear down too much. Just uh, kind of roll up a sleeping bag, and that's about it. Because everything else is, uh, you know, the plastic I might just leave here. And Forward to applying to a loan again. This is um, this is the time of year where they, if they haven't started accepting the applications, it should be happening pretty soon. So that'll be always a, a fun time. Um, I love just pulling little tidbits of useful, kind of promotive materials out of all my videos, and uh, throw my hat in the ring once again. A lot can be said for many of you guys that are also making videos. I, I know the best laid plans. I started this, uh, I started today out of the truck and I was all thinking I was going to be running the hammock today and obviously it didn't happen. But uh, it's 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 a little burdensome for sure. Um, taping yourself and coming up with ideas. I had so many ideas of what I was going to do today. I couldn't begin to get them all done in a short amount of time and I think that that in itself is what kind of freezes some of us from actually starting outings is that uh, if not the, the, the excitement about videotaping it and then the aftermath of uh, putting it all together uh, on the computer but uh, just deciding um, what to do and uh, I know myself sometimes it's it's hard to get out in the woods without thinking that you need to bring a camera and need to film it all uh, rather than just explore and have fun but I encourage everyone to try to bit of, do a bit of both try to kind of tape yourself and um, kind of share your skills but also continue to work on your skills in the, in the privacy of your own uh, outdoors and uh, that way uh, not worried about the, uh, the the camera rolling all the time and the editing that has to happen after Downed, uh, I put some um, ash on here and uh, oh my god it burned so hot I can't believe I think inside my super shelter it's just wafting out right now it must be over 80 degrees in there right now I got a good distance from my fire to the shelter about one good pace one stride got my wood cut up here next to my door so I can actually reach out and Stoke the fire through the night without having to, uh, to actually get up. The biggest thing today is going to be condensation, seeing how much condensation it traps inside. I don't know if it will trap too awful much, but we'll see. must have taken in the dogs I can't hear them anymore the roads starting to get quiet usually we can hear some road traffic where we're only uh, a couple hundred yards from the road so there it goes we're, we're far enough that I can't see street lights uh, sorry there's no street lights here but can't see car headlights um, we can see the glow of my uh, aunt's, aunt's house far off in the distance but So many plans didn't happen. <clears throat> oh well. Thought I'd share with with you what I had planned for and how the day worked out. So probably be talking to you later. Shut the camera.
camera off and stoke the fire. Okay, here's the view from inside the shelter. There's the uh, fire rolling outside. Tuck that back in. This is not uh, certainly airtight, but being a complete bag, it's sealed everything in there. I've got space for my boots and an extra bedroll if I need it. And uh, tucked inside the bivy escape bivy by soul. All my gear is packed all around me, and uh, yeah, very, very comfortable. I can feel the heat radiating, hitting me in the face. It's pretty crazy. You still see your breath because uh, right behind me is where the, you know, there is there is gaps, um, but the bag being all around me, there's no chance of. Anything kind of crawling in, paying me a visit, except uh, I guess through my head area, but anyways, there we go. Well, we're tucked in. We've got the, uh, uh, the makings of a uh, super shelter, kind of, and uh, looks like it's going to work out. Got the fire all raging outside. And I'm tucked in here, feel pretty good. It's a little, a little short uh, in terms of leg room. I could use another foot, but other than that, I can't uh, can't complain. So we're gonna. Uh, I think I got enough layers here. I've got my super extra warm hat ready. I got my fur hat here somewhere, and. Uh, Hope my thermo rust stays full and uh, should be good. Good. Super great to make, you know, it's always it's always exciting to make a make makeshift shelter and see that it works. And uh, I think it's gonna do the trick. Alright. Shut her down. See you in the morning. Well, it's almost time to get up. It's six, six o'clock, but another hour of darkness. Got a bit of condensation and frost built up. But, uh, super warm. <laughs> I, uh, This soul bivy sack has been, I think, my saving grace for tonight. Got me super warm inside the uh, my sleeping bag. Well, it's morning, and I didn't have the uh, <laughs> the prototypical climb out of the sleeping bag shot, but uh, here's where <clears throat> we weathered last night, and uh, we did pretty good. Uh, obviously, condensation was a bit of an issue, but uh, <clears throat> I had to have some coverage sleeping so close to the front of the shelter because we had a, a snow a snow blow coming down this way I didn't have a tarp extended it over so this really double purposed as a tarp kept the snow off but it kept a little bit of moisture in so I call that another successful night in the woods uh, it's one of those things when you go to bed so early or you're, you're up and about whether with colder noises throughout the night different times I was wide awake at three o'clock ready to get up because I think I went to bed about seven or eight <laughs> but uh, overall it was a good night and uh, glad to see um, my ingenuity paid off with this uh, king king mattress sheet it uh, worked in a pinch and we had a good good night kept the weather off I'm gonna head out to the truck now and start the rest of the day kids got soccer and uh, my kitchen hours hours worth of sleep at home but it was good thanks for coming along and uh, it's been Jeff Allen off the gridiron 
Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you again with another adventure in the woods. Enjoy your outdoors.